Hello, everybody. My name is Douglas Arnold Armstrong. I'm with him. Let's try that again. Hello, everybody. My name is Douglas Arnold Armstrong. I'm the head honcho here at Happy Texas Reviews. Thank you for guys watching this awesome special edition review. Today, I am doing a review that I didn't think I was going to be able to get up for you guys, um, but I am. Um, so today, I am doing a special review for Star Wars Battlefront EA, the 25th. The 2015 game. Let's see if you guys can actually see that. And yes, when this game came out in 2015, I bought the two, the uh, deluxe edition. And I have a lot of fond memories of playing this game. Um, yes, it has some problems. But uh, we're going to do something different where I'm going to end up just talking about it real quick. And then I'm going to play the game. <laughs> I'm going to play this game that came out four years ago. And uh, I'm going to make it set up so that way you can see me playing and my reaction and see how terrible I'm at at playing this game. Um, I'm playing, I'm going to play the main game mode. I believe it's called Walker Assault, where you have to take out Imperial Walkers. Um, I haven't played this game in three years. Um, I do have all the DLC and Season Pass. Um, content. So I have no idea what map I'm going to get, if I'm going to get a DLC map or whatnot. Um, I just, I have fond memories of playing this. This is one of the very first Xbox One games that uh, I actually ended up playing. Um, when the Xbox One came out, I waited a year or so for it to go down in price. And so by the time I got my Xbox One, this had already come out. So this is kind of one of those games where I'm just like, you know, you buy the console and you get a game with it kind of deal. And I have a lot of fun memories with it. I know for a fact that this game is not perfect by any means. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, and then if you guys really enjoy what I'm about to do for the live setup where you guys can watch me play the game and I'll give you guys my reactions and reviews and whatnot while playing it, um, I'm planning on doing a similar setup for this in the future. Um, with Star Wars Battlefront 2, probably, um, and other games that I'm, uh, I'm planning on playing for you guys. Um, I just got Halo 5, my own copy, so I'll probably be reviewing for that. I'll do a review for you guys for that in the near future, maybe some Mortal Kombat 11, things like that. Um, like I said in my past couple of reviews during this week, my primary goal was to do movies and TV shows. Um, I wanted to just, you know, experiment and see what you guys think about with me doing um, some other things with um, video games. I know I've done a couple of video game reviews on the past on this channel, so I'm just wanting to experiment and see what you guys like, what I should change and whatnot. So we're going to get right into it and start up doing my live reaction review with Star Wars Battlefront, the 2015 game. So I'm going to move this over so you guys can see me and my screen while I play. Now I do apologize if the sound is either too loud or if it's too quiet. Go. Awesome. All right. Here we go, guys. This is Star Wars Battlefront 1, 20, 2015. Now, I really enjoyed this game. I still prefer the original Battlefront games that was made when George Lucas still owned Star Wars. Those are still just my personal favorites, and I'll never forget playing those games. Um, 2015, I know, has a silly, stupid... Um, pick up token system that you have to deal with um, in order to get like rocket launchers and heroes and all that stuff. 2015 is a battle point system. Um, I love this picture. This picture is awesome. I remember having this as my home screen for my Xbox. It's just gorgeous. The ATT, I'm sorry, the AT, -AT in the middle, everything else around it. And that's Solus, if you guys don't know what planet that was. So, yeah. Make sure there hope there's no stupid update I gotta worry about dealing with. Cause I, like I said, I played the base game. There was only like six maps, I believe, and then you had to buy the season pass in order to actually have fun with this game. Um, I bought all the season pass content. I loved all the maps. The season pass, even though it was a really ridiculous season pass, I felt like I got my money's worth out of it with all the heroes, vehicles, weapons, and especially the, the maps that came with it. And all the game modes and whatnot. Um, especially with Rogue One and whatnot. So, you actually got to do the Death Star Trench Run in this game, too, for the third DLC. So, 
Alright guys, let's get right into it. All that music. Good music. Alright, let's see what we got here. Of course, our dude's on the homepage! Wow. 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 Alright, let's roll. Connecting. I'm hoping I can. I wonder if I can actually can be able to find a lobby. I mean, this game is four years old and a lot of people are playing other games. Bonus score. Wow. Wow! <laughs> we have Battlefront 2. Missions. Walker Assault. There's one. Oh, yeah. Why does Fox was in this? Pretty much. Uh, let's try multiplayer. Collapse. Okay, there's a diorama. Look contracts. Look, look at this. Yeah, I've already hit max rank, by the way. If you guys can't see that, I'm rank 100. I, I maxed out everything already, so I'm good on that. Star cards. Holy heck. Look at all this stuff that I unlocked. I haven't even... God, I remember. There's some stuff in this game I remember that just wasn't, you know, like, good. I got the Sonic of Motor. Wow. Back to the... Yeah, there was a grenade that you could use in this game where you could heal yourself. Some stats. I'm right. Wow. Yeah, there was an Android app for this mobile tablet PC thing for this. Yeah, I've got the season pass already. Settings. Sensitivity 25%, that's probably good enough. Blasters. 25, 22 guns. Wow. Okay then. Our trouble's down a little bit, so we'll kill you guys over there. Hopefully. There we go. Alright, we're just going to play one game or so. Store. There is no loot crates or microtransactions. It was just a season pass in this game, which is nice. You know, I started buying games. I'm curious. So I've got all the expansions. Outer Rim, Best on the Dust Tower, and Rogue One Mascara. I saw game modes. So game modes in this. We've got Supremacy. Walker Assault, Fighter Squadron, Drop Zone, Cargo, Blast, Droid Run, Hero Hunt, Heroes vs. Villains, Turning point. I hated turning point because it was like constantly, it was like Walker's level constantly going back and forth and flipping. And it just really aggravated me to have to deal with that. Find the best hero game mode, find the best 12 player sports mode. Um, quick game mode. Okay, so you can go, you can have your expansion pass and then you can select which game mode you want to play in that thing, which is nice. So extraction. Outer Rim didn't have any Walker Assault. Pretty sure. Sabotage. Sabotage was in this one. Walker Assault. Class. Battle Station. Wow. Yes. And then of course, Infiltration. We're going to play this one just because it's the most easy. And it's going to have um, some ground battle and space battle. I, so, yeah, let's give it a go, guys, and see how this goes. See if we can actually find a game. The new hope music is awesome. Love it. Now this is 2015 one, so there's no um, prequel slash on Clone Wars content in this at all, and there's no sequel trilogy stuff in this. It's just episode four, five, and six content, which kind of limited them for what they could do for content, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff in those movies and in that time period that they could do. Anyway. Count one person. Let's 
guys like a minute or so. If I can't find an online game, I'm just going to do offline and just see how it plays. I wonder if I see Turkey up shows up. You guys probably can't see because of the glare or the angle, but there's actually a list of who's on the Rebel and Imperial side, which is kind of cool, right before the game even starts, which is nice. And you don't have to press an extra button like you do in Battle for 2 2017 in order to see who's on who's team. <laughs> This is taking forever. All right. I can't find anyone. All right, we're back out. We're just going to do four player mode. So this is going to be searching for Rocker Assault, I'm sorry, Rocker Assault Supremacy and um, Turning Point, which I hope we don't get Turning Point. I hope not. There we go, Rocker Assault, final lobby. That's nice. I wonder what map we're going to get. Solist, okay. In case you guys are wondering what I'm drinking, it is a watermelon freeze from Taco Bell. What's really, really interesting is the um, pieces of melon, I'm sorry, the pieces for the seeds for the watermelon, they're actually in the Slurpee, and they're like candies you can chew on. And they're not really hard, they're really soft, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see how bad I am at this game. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good, decent at Battlefront 2, but I remember I was just a beast in this game mode, and in this game just in general. All right. Chris. Oh, there's actually challenges. The challenges. The daily challenge, the challenges that you can pick. All right, let's get going. I do apologize if everything looks a little backwards or whatever. Alright. Look at these guns. It's not class specific. Awesome. Alright, we're just going to do standard. I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then. Come on, Rebel side. Start. I can't believe there's actually people that are still playing this game. Oh, there's no rolling. How do you roll? There's no barrel rolling. Oh, man. So used to that in the 2017 version. Oh, that's acid water, I remember that. Why is uh, Where do you get the hero tokens? Uh, that's something. Gotta memorize where the hero tokens are. Oh, they have an ATSD, that's nice. I remember that there's jetpacks in this game, but I honestly hate them in this game. They didn't really serve a good purpose to just piss people off. Jeff in this game kind of reminded me of something from like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where like it was like a cheap way to get kills. Sonic Motor. Damage and Eva. Lovely. Or Fireball Strikes! Those are still in this game. Okay, that's nice. Oh, okay, there's a fighter thingy. I'm not even doing all that well. That's the problem I can see with this game, is everyone's just like, ooh, get to the tokens. And you gotta activate them and sit here and hope you don't get killed. It's just not natural, you know. You don't just find stuff. And I get to the top of the area. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. There's nothing in the sky we can even shoot at. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I killed myself. Wonderful job. Yeah, I don't want to know the A. I, see, no one's picking up the A wings or the X wings or any of that nonsense either. It's funny. I think it's funny that it's a back to bomb. It's supposed to give you health, but all it's doing is just um, giving you like a bonus shield. It's really weird. And now we're gonna camp here, I guess. You can't. How do you barrel roll? You can't barrel roll. Man, that drives me insane. There's peanuts in this. Go inside the AT-ATs if you're on the hero side. That's nice. How did I... Oh, yeah, I have to hold... Wait. How did I do that barrel roll? Ooh, ooh, hero pickup. Hero pickup token. Come on, let me have it. Let me have it. Yes. I wonder how this is. A witching going on with the rock for some reason. Come on, why can't I release 
one time use. Orbital Strike. He has an Orbital Strike as a power, as an ability. That is awesome. That is sweet. Where has that been in 2017? So I can't give someone an Orbital Strike controller. Strike on him. There we go. Dude, I'm gonna die. Yep, orbital strike kills me, of course. Makes perfect sense. Pretty good. Everyone's got one of them down for their walkers. Then they got another walker. It's like 60% or 40% destroyed. I like how it shows you where the orbital effect is coming from, like where it's going to hit. That's very cool. Good design choice, in my personal opinion. Win this one. Come on. I remember the hero pickups are like far back from the last phase on this map. I remember that. Amazing how, you know, I haven't played this game in three years and it's just muscle memory that I remember certain stuff. You know, this is what I played for like a year straight, like nothing else. Both sad and fun. Pick up. See, it's a race to get pickups. If you want anything good, you gotta just be running around hoping you get a pickup. Otherwise, you know, you're stuck shooting at like nothing. Okay. You can't barrel roll, it's really clunky. It's not as smooth as in the 2017 game. You know, I'm based on my review for this game on the fact that this game came out in 2015, and I'm going to be grading it on that back alone. Normally, I do wear headsets, in case you guys are wondering what I'm playing, but I just want to make sure that you guys actually have the ability to hear the sound. And constantly looking at the ground. Not a good thing at all, just been dealing with. Okay, can I get rid of my shields? I can actually. Sh not get killed by that thing and do something maybe to the dude in front of me? No? Okay, we got an AFK player, which is not my partner. There's no squatting in this game, but there's a partner system. And I find that slightly bizarre. Dude, they have a turret. Okay, rocket. 
Wow, okay, I just got flashed. I thought I was a sonic floater. I would have been a flash bang. Hey, look, there's no, like, when your gun overheats, you can't, like, shut it down so it can stop overheating. It's just automatic. I mean, you know I don't just button, to be honest. Let's try, um... Uh... Yeah, I'll just go for that. I, I know there's tons of guns in this game, and I just have no issue trying them out at the moment. This is my personal there's all the pickups. Well, there's one. There's a hero pickup. Wow, uh, right now we're getting base camp. No one wants to move up. I don't see anybody. Oh, they have Vader. That's wonderful. That's why that's being. Hold it held off by the enemy factions because they have Vader on their side. Why is it spawning my eye on the side that are getting destroyed by all the Imperial Walkers and Vader? Why isn't it spawning me over on the left side so I can at least attempt to have some sort of chance to win? It's forcing me to come over to get killed. That's stupid. Watch for an imperial counter attack. Yeah, I'm not going to burn over there as much. And I'll put that over here so I can stop you know, destroying. Okay, never mind. There's an orbital strike. I'll get this thing here so I can at least leave that thing alone for a minute. So that way that kills him. What? Doesn't kill him. What? what? No! Broken! It might have damaged him by like nine health points, but it didn't kill him. That's. That's. Okay, attack on you, Walker. With whatever I guess we got, I guess. Because we probably have much to begin with. I don't know. Or just not. I'll get that. Can't even. If we do it. We'll take out one walker, maybe. That's it. Um, can we take out the walker that has, like, one health point? I don't understand why walker with one health point is still standing. Can you even take out the walker with one health point? <sighs> I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. This is... I don't know. Don't even have... Okay. Got a whole B to leave the game. 50 credits. 10 kills, 2 explosive kills. Objective score 680. Award 75. Charges used for... I don't know, use Dark Hearts. That's a lot of good information that helps you. I know for a fact in other games in the Battlefront series that don't tell you all this stuff. That is nice. Let's right. So overall, guys, I just by playing that one game out, I hope you guys were able to watch and enjoy that with me while I was doing that. Um, so it's going to be the end of the review. Um, if you guys really enjoyed what I just did here today while, you know, talking and reacting while playing a game and, you know, reviewing it for you guys that way, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you liked or disliked and how I should change moving forward on this channel with future um, video game reviews that I plan on doing in the future. So this has been my 20, I'm sorry, this has been my Star Wars Battlefront 2015 EA review. So I'm going to give, just based on that game mode and my past personal experiences and whatnot, you know, there's a lot of problems. Like I said, there's a lot of rushing to get, you know, tokens and stuff like that. And a lot of other cool things, but there's also a bunch of nonsense going on. 
the music, it feels like you're in the Star Wars. It feels like you're in a Star Wars panel. I mean, I did terrible. I, I haven't played this game in three years, but it's like there's muscle memory built in from when I played this game three years ago. Then I'm like, I, mean, I remember sure where certain stuff is. It's a memory game. It's a muscle game. Um, I really would like to play a lot more of this. But to be honest, 2015, I'm sorry, 2017 is better, and I'm just so more used to that. It has triple the amount of content. And uh, and all the content is free, so I really enjoy that fact also. So with that, guys, I'm going to give this game a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Uh, my guess it will be next Tuesday evening. I might be able to squeeze one in um, this Sunday um, morning slash evening. Oh, there we go. There's C3PO. <laughs> I was wondering when it was going to show up. So I might get to being able to get uh, um, one Sunday out for you guys. Um, if not, then I will definitely be getting one out for you guys uh, Tuesday evening um, latest. All right, guys. Have a good one. See through me. Oh, you are gigantic and huge. Would you go away? Is he gone? He's not coming back, is he? Okay, it's R2-D2 now. We're good. All right. Have a good one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace out.